A video about bushcraft skills is probably the last place you'd expect to find information about men's grooming and shaving. After all, the majority of male bushcraft enthusiasts have beards, and quite a few of the female ones too, but the use of a cutthroat razor is definitely one of the most advanced uses of a sharp blade. If you can use this to shave effectively, then you really can consider yourself to be the master of a blade. Now the important thing when we're using a Japanese water stone is to soak it in water long enough so that the stone has actually absorbed all the moisture it can. Now this water acts as a lubricant and it allows the blade to slide over the surface so that uh, it doesn't jar and it doesn't get any nicks and damage to the blade. Now this is the, the method that we use to hone the blade so it's the first step in the sharpening process. Now without applying much downward pressure at all, just enough to hold it in place, slide the blade forwards and off and then reverse it so go the other way sliding down the home and off the edge really applying very little downward pressure because we really want this to slide along the surface without any snagging and this is far more important even than the edge that we have on our survival knives or our bushcraft knives because we need this edge to be so perfect in order for it to shave effectively that we really can't afford any damage or any blunt spots on this blade. Now before we can even start shaving, the first thing we need to do is wash with hot water and soap. This helps to clean up and prevent any infection in the stubble and it also starts the process of lifting the hairs and softening the hairs ready for shaving. So very important to use hot water for this and really get into the stubble, make sure it's all cleaned up. Now the grooming products, um, you can spend a fortune on this stuff. You've got creams and potions and aftershave and lotions and all sorts of things. But essentially all you really need is a brush, which you use to gain a lather. Now traditionally these are always badger hair brushes. Uh, badger hair is the best texture brush. It uh, helps to lift the hairs, gets the foam right underneath the stubble so it rises each hair up and allows it to be cut much more easily. So a badger hair brush is a very, very useful thing so make sure you cover the entire beard area because anywhere that doesn't have shaving foam on it will act as a stopper and the blade will actually snag and it won't run smoothly. Now the important thing when we're using the strop is to get it in a position so that we can pull it firmly in order to maintain a flat surface here because if this is allowed to bow it just rounds off the edge of the blade so that's no good at all. Now, what we do first of all, place the spine of the blade on the strop, tilt it as we did with the hone, and then pull back. So you're always maintaining the same angle. Now I know it looks very impressive when you see it in the films and they do this really fast, but there's not much to be gained. If you do it slowly and more precisely, you'll get a much finer edge. Now, as I described, what we're aiming to do here is to realign the burrs at the edge of the blade, and that will allow the the edge to cut the hairs with no resistance at all. Starting off, always aim to maintain tension on the, on the face and this helps to allow the blade to slide cleanly over the skin. So you really have to keep that skin tensioned up. The hairs on your face grow in different directions and we should always shave in the direction that the grain grows, which is to cut in the direction that the hair is growing. On your face, the hair is growing in a downwards angle, so we cut in a downward motion. But on your neck, it's growing in an upward angle, so we always cut upwards. That can be quite tricky, so uh, practice makes perfect. Now, one thing I realized when I first started shaving like this is why people always used to grow mustaches, because the mustache area is probably the most difficult bit to do. And you really need to keep the angle of the blade very steep, so to get into here you're at about an 80 degree angle just under the nose and then just finish off by just taking off any pieces of stubble that you may have missed and that's definitely the closest shave in the woods The A to Z of Bushcraft is now out on DVD support the series www.azbushcraft.com